And so there was this butcher shop and the owner was there. And I had asked her, like, do you have any type of apprenticeship program? I really want to learn how to cut meat. She was like, you're a little too small to be a meat cutter. I don't think you can lift the primals. Because I'm a small woman, I can't be a butcher. I would describe working in kitchens as being more like a pirate ship. There are no rules, everybody's a drunk. If you can make hot food, it goes out on time, and it's plated perfectly, like everybody kind of looks the other way. I realized like that restaurant, I was like, I want to try something different, you know? And I remember one time like we did a whole pig on a spick on top of the grill, and it was the first time I'd ever seen that. I was like, this is amazing. I think because of that, I was so intrigued by it, like I wanted to learn how to do that. And so I got this idea in my mind, I'm gonna go learn how to butcher. I started applying to every little butcher shop in Seattle. Either they were like full up or they would try to talk me out of it. You know, it's really hard work, right? Yeah, I assumed that. <laughs> I got the sense that everybody was trying to scare me away. And all that did was push me to want it more because all these people were saying that I, that I wasn't able to. Have a look, hey, perfect. Nice, beautiful. This one has beautiful, like really good marbling beautiful. on it. Times are changing. It's, it's, it's male dominant, it's a male environment anyway, it always has been, you know. But times are changing in general, so butchery is changing along the way as well. For the, for the good, hopefully. hopefully. One day, I would love to have my own shop. Nose to tail, whole animal butcher. The vibe of it, like I want it to feel like you're coming into my home and I'm helping you pick out a lovely piece of meat. And I want it to be colorful and warm and inviting. Yeah, I want it to feel homey. Like I want you to feel welcome. And now it's totally possible.